Hello everyone and welcome to a new review. Today we're looking at something that came out a small time ago and that is Roller Coaster by Hans and Chen Productions. Now let's get into the review. So you've stuck around and you're interested in seeing my thoughts on uh, Roller Coaster by Hans and Chen. So first and foremost, I'll have a performance of the effect up on the screen. And while that's playing, I'll just give you a brief ex explanation. It's essentially a coin goes into the glass on a coaster. And that is essentially it. You're going to be able to take a coin and penetrate it through a glass in front of the spectator's eyes. And that is the effect. That is essentially all it's going to let you do. And as you saw in the performance, it is quite bare bones. And that is the effect that you get. Now, where do you buy this and how much does this cost? This is available at probably every single magic shop, magic store that you would like. It costs 60 US dollars, 60 US dollars. And with that, you get um, you get a regular coaster, you get your gimmick coaster, uh, and you also get the thing to reset everything. And you get an instructional video that is quite lengthy. I think it's 45 minutes to an hour long. That's going to explain to you routines, how to handle it, how to take care of it, how to activate your gimmick, how to switch it, how to justify everything. So you're going to get a lot of stuff here regarding your money's worth, but is it necessarily good? And that is what we're going to find out. Now, first, let's talk about difficulty. So is this difficult to perform? I would say not really. This is quite easy to perform in itself. Um, you're just going to have to do a simple, you know, coin disappearance but that's not going to feel like a disappearance so essentially uh a small you know you know you guys know what i'm talking about i'm not going to go more into that but you're just going to have to do a small coin transfer that's going to seem that you still have the coin and as you come you take it and you smash it in or push it in or anything you want inside of the glass so that it appears that it went through the glass <laughs> it's pretty simple uh so it is simple to do but there are going to be some caveats because, you know, sometimes your gimmick can misbehave due to its nature. So you're going to have to learn and practice it a little bit to make sure that, you know, exactly the amount of pressure you have to do, the angle you have to do it on, uh, the surface. And you're just going to have to play around with it to know exactly how you're going to have to do it in order to, for it to work for you. Now, let's get to practicality. And this is where I think this product's this product is falls short for me. I think this is where it falls extremely short and where it's going to lose all the points. Um, that first, you're going to have to do this on these coasters. You cannot do it anywhere. You know, you cannot do it if it's not on the coaster. And let me tell you this. I've went at a lot of restaurants here in Canada, whether they be cheap restaurants, expensive restaurants, mid-tier restaurants, no matter what, I have not seen a single one with coasters. Another thing, I've went to bars. I've went to sports bars. None of them give you coasters like this. Not a single place gives you a coaster like this. Not a single place you're going to find a coaster. Most likely here in Canada, what they do, it's a small filament of kind of Tyvek paper that they're going to put just to hold your glass, even in bars. You just, I don't know why, but you almost never see coasters here in Canada. I don't know why, maybe it's just Quebec where I live, but you never see coasters. And third of all, I've never seen a coaster at a French place or at one of my family's place. We never have coasters. And even if we do, none of the coasters are gonna look like this or none of the coasters are gonna match the coasters that you can get with roller coaster. So how the hell do you introduce this? And that is the main problem to me regarding practicality is because you're going to have to carry around two coasters with you. And how the hell are you going to ring the coasters in? And I know people were debating when it came out that, oh, but, you know, magicians carry around weird stuff. And we're going to talk to that about with Switch Cup coming up next week as a review. But, you know, I just, this just feels weird because to me, if you do this on the coaster, the person is going to be like, okay, but the coaster did it. Because if it wasn't the coaster, he could have done it on the table without the coaster. Or he could have done it without anything. So I just think that everyone is going to know that the coaster does the magic. 
everyone's going to know that this is what does the trick. There's not a single person that's going to be like, oh, it, he did something really sneaky to get it inside the glass. No, because you're going to have to ring in a coaster that no one would ever see. Like, I, I don't see me perform this anywhere. Even, you know, at a friend's house, he knows his coasters. So if the fact that I come here and I'm like, hey, I brought a coaster for my glass. Can I show you something? He's going to be like, why the hell do you carry a coaster in your bag? Why would you carry a coaster to come to my house to perform an effect? So I just feel that it is, you know, people can justify it, but to me, it just feels unjustifiable. I don't, like, I'm imagining myself doing a walk around show at a restaurant. There, no one has coasters on the table. And then I come out and I say, hey guys, I have a coaster and I'm gonna, and I wanna try something here. I know they say you can say that, oh, you don't want the glass to slip on the table or you don't want anything like that. But most restaurants nowadays, they have cloths over the table, they have mats over the table. So the, the glass is not gonna spill anyway. So it's gonna have something to stay on anyway. So I just feel that practicality wise, this is this, like, this is zero practicality because you can justify it. And maybe I'm just wrong. I know if you go on Penguin, all the reviews are like five on five and people love this. But to me and where I'm living right at na right now, there's no coasters. A coaster is something that people even forgot existed. It is not something available. It's not something you're going to see. But anyway, I think my I should stop the run because I, I can go on. But practicality wise for me and where I live, this is going to be unperformable. Because if I come in to someone and I tell them, look, can I borrow a cone? Can I borrow a glass? Also, uh, can you check out this uh, cool coaster that I bought with me? Uh, can you check it out? It's normal, right? And I do the switch and I perform on the coaster. The person's going to be like, but why the hell did you, he put it on the coaster? Could he just done it on the table? Again, I'll stop here and we'll move along. So where can you perform this? Let's imagine you are not in my scenario and coasters are not a thing of the past. You could perform this most likely, I think, at restaurants, bar, and casual environments. So at your house, at a, you know, at a friend's house or anything like that. You could perform it in those scenarios, social media, Zoom, all of that. That would be able to perform it in those scenarios. It's going to work. And in those scenarios, and if coasters are a thing that you guys see a lot in your performance environment, then by all means, this is going to work and it's going to do the effect perfectly. The gimmick is going to last, so I don't think it's going to break anytime soon. It is made of, you know, waterproof uh, material and... It is built pretty well. I think it's gonna last. It's pretty good quality. So I think you're gonna be good on that front. And even if it breaks or anything, I do think that they offer refills. It is unclear because every single magic shop seems to say something different. They all have the same ads for the refills, but no one knows if an actual gimmick is included in the refill pack. I've seen Vanishing Ink and Penguin Magic and Saturn Magic have people you know, ask questions on the product page and they've answered that some of them said there's no gimmick included. Some of them said, yes, there's a gimmick included. So even the magic shops don't know if there's a gimmick included or not in the refill pack. But the refill pack is 40 US dollars. So I would guess that in $40, they're not just going to give you four uh, normal coasters for $40 because that would be a major riff off. So just based on the price, I do think that you're going to be able to get a gimmick coaster extra or you can just buy a different. So let's say... For bar work, you're going to take a Heineken one. You could buy a refill pack for, um, you know, just the casual looking one that you could find in someone's house maybe. And you could take that as an extra set to perform it in more casual environments. So this could be performable and you could carry around this with you. This is how thick it is. So you're just going to have to find a place to put this. And that's it because the glass and the coin, you're just going to grab from where you're performing and be able to do it. Now, before I end, let's get into the positives and negatives of the effect. So the negatives. Um, and these, again, I want to mention, this is my opinion, and this is the negatives for where I live and where I perform. So I cannot change these negatives based on what some other people in another country or other place are going to experience. So based on my current conditions, this is going to be extremely hard to find a place to perform. It's going to be extremely hard to justify why you are doing it and why you're bringing it onto a coaster. It's going to be extremely hard to convince people that the coaster does not do 
the magic because you know again i'm gonna tease my review for switch cup because it is a brilliant product even though it has asian symbols on it no one's gonna think that the cup does the magic because the cup is just there to be there thrown away it is not part of the integral part of the magic but here the cup has to go directly on top of this and the coin when it penetrates it penetrates inside of the cup and the coaster so you get what i mean third of all the coin cannot be signed you cannot perform this with a signed coin and yeah those are my main negatives positives if you know you can actually perform this and you're not like me this is well built it is going to work. You're going to have to put a little bit of practice, but it is going to work. Um, it, it does what the trailer does, what the trailer says. There's no false advertising. It really does what the trailer says. It's uh, pretty easy to reset. It takes around 10, 15 seconds. It's easy to reset. Uh, you're going to be able to do a coin through glass that is extremely clean. This is, that is still extremely clean. And I don't, and you are, you have refills. So you can buy different variants for the, your performing environments. If you really do like this and want to perform a lot, you're going to have, you know, different motifs and patterns to do uh, and buy regarding to where you want to perform this. So now let's get into the verdict. So again, this is my opinion. I know a lot of people like it and I'm sorry if you're one of them, but this is just not a product for me. This is my opinion. There's a lot of opinions out there that differ from mine or agree with mine. But for me, this is a 6 on 0.5 on 10. It's not something that I'm ever going to perform. It's going to go in the drawer. But I do acknowledge that this is workable. And this is performable. And this is a product that can be done in real life with the right conditions. And if coasters are a thing for you, I do think that this is workable. So I don't want to give it an extremely low grade. I still want to give it a 6.5 because it is a workable effect. And it's something you're going to be able to perform if you so wish and you are so inclined. But that is it for me. Thank you guys for watching and I will want to see you guys in my next videos next week and all of the weeks coming forward or backwards. I always like to read in comments even if it's on old videos. I always want to help you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and feel free to comment again and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.